Now we are going to study laboratory preparation of hydrogen gas. And as you can see, my setup, you require round bottom flask, dropping funnel. Dropping funnel has a tap and therefore enables you to control the amounts of liquid that you're pouring down the flask. You have a delivery tube that goes right into this water trap onto which we are going to place the gas jar so that we are able to collect the hydrogen gas. The gas will be, the gas jar will be leave, uh, placed on the beehive shelf or beehive stand so that we are able to collect the gas. So when the dilute, the hydrochloric acid runs down into the, the um, down the bottom flask into which we have put zinc granules, you can see uh, a reaction is taking place and effervescence happens, evaporation takes place, and this gas is the one that is collected through this delivery tube to the gas jar. So the reaction is between zinc plus dilute hydrochloric acid to give zinc chloride, which is a salt. We are just going to mention that it is a salt, and then hydrogen gas. The gas hydrogen is collected over water because it is insoluble in water. It can also be collected by upward delivery because it is less dense than air. Upward delivery means you can direct the delivery tube up and collect it in an inverted test tube. When the gas is required dry, it is passed through concentrated sulfuric six acid, which has been put in a wash bottle, and then it is collected dry, or through a YouTube containing calcium chloride, uh, which will dry the gas. The calcium chloride and sulfuric six acid, which are which is concentrated, are uh, drying agents. Pure hydrogen burns quietly with a blue flame. So we can go ahead and look at other uh, chemical properties of hydrogen gas. And we are going to look at reaction between hydrogen and copper two oxide. This is a redox reaction. Redox reaction, we said it is a reaction where both reduction and oxidation take place at the same time or simultaneously.